listening to the Sports Coma with Big Q and the guys on the PRO Media Network. Welcome back to the Sports Coma, Big Q and the guys. We're talking Saints in this segment of the show. Uh, we covered uh, Kirk Coleman and a few other topics on the other side of the break. This break, this side of the break, we're going to be talking about the possible acquisition of Jimmy Graham. Of course, a lot of people in Saints Nation, they are apt to say, you know what, how about bringing Jimmy Graham back because we need help. You know, we did pretty bad as far as tight, the tight end position went last year, and we were dead last in receiving yards from the tight end position. And that's very oddity for the New Orleans Saints offense, being that uh, we usually one of the top leaders in such a category. Being that we are top three offense, D.C., uh, not getting production from the tight end like we're accustomed to, that's really, really odd. To st- that really shows the, the great depth of how really excellent Drew Brees and the rest of the coaches are and the talent around them to be able to still put up top three, top five offensive numbers every year despite the fact the tight end position wasn't there. But looking at that, with that being said, you know, we talked about the contributions. The market set drew at Drew Brees for $25 million, uh, possibly. We turn around and we look back and we say, well, what if Drew takes a $20, $18, $19, $20 million? They don't leave too much for the Saints, despite the fact they might rework. They most certainly re- will rework at least three or four candidates to free up at least another 8 to well, $10 million. Got, uh, so, like I said, the $7 million from uh, the, that's another Nick thing. Fairley. Nick you Fairley, have, uh, Zach Street. Fleener release. Oh, and, and also, yeah, the two point. Two million dollars from, from Street, right? So we 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 have a few more dollars, money right? That's gonna up pop up there. The might it, it might it be anywhere between eight to twelve million, uh, maybe a little bit more than that. Hidden money of hidden money, well, maybe you, you fifteen still have million. The option to rework some contracts too, right? So you know, with that said, and we got a lot of rookies, a lot of guys that are very good, not playing for a lot of money right now. So you want to capitalize right. on this this window you got? Yeah, here. like next three years or so. Let's 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 talk about that now with the calorie. I mean, with this calorie, the salary set at 177 and the Saints roughly, if you average it off currently right now, before working, reworking the deals at thirty one million dollars, Jimmy Graham possibility. A lot of people want to see it happen. Does it happen in your opinion? I, I would like to see it happen, but I don't think it happens. And here's why. Give me one Saints player other than uh, what? Maybe Raphael Bush. That left and came back. Prominent name. We usually don't do that. When we let uh, a guy of the caliber of Jimmy Graham go, we usually don't get those guys back. Um, If Jimmy Graham does come back, I think he would have to take a sizable discount from what he's used to getting from us. Um, We're not going to bring Jimmy Graham back at $12 million a year. So if you get Jimmy Graham similar to this Kirk Coleman contract or maybe – a Kobe Fleener type deal with the money we were paying him, $31 million over, what, four years or something like that it was? With was Kobe Fleener? Somewhere around there. A deal like that, then, yeah, we possibly could get Jimmy Graham, but no one's asking this question. Um, Jimmy Graham may not want to come to New Orleans. Did anybody think about that? <laughs> Does he really want to come back? What if we want him back and he don't want to come back? I, Jimmy Graham like money, man. He, that, that, airplanes ain't cheap. That, Jimmy Graham that, like to fly airplanes to, and stuff. He, just he to mention pay what you're saying about the Kobe Fleener deal, according to SportTrack.com, it's a five-year deal at $36 million at $8 million signing bonus, $7.2 million annual salary. At that, at that price, I mean, it sounds big. But when you think now, about it, thirty six million ba- dollars over five his, years his is not base, a lot of money. His base salary jumps to six point three. It was five point eight last year. This year it jumps to six point three. So it goes up. So he we yeah, also mentioned that he that. could be a cap casualty as well. That so. boy gone, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he All out right. of here. <laughs> All right. So well, Kobe Fleen is out and Jimmy if Graham is a possibility. But we, Jimmy we, does Jimmy I wouldn't Graham have a problem with them paying paying uh Kobe Fleener money. To Jimmy Graham, Jimmy Graham would be worth that, no doubt about it. He'd but be to worth give that. him a, a Gronk contract, which he probably is going to want, it's not going to happen. Which is around man. sixty million, fifty fifty something million. Hell no, man. We like you, Jimmy. We had some great years here, but you could keep on marching. I'm sure some idiots will give you that type of money, but it won't be the Saints. Right. So let's let's move into some of the combine news, uh, DC. 
looking at some of the combine news here, a couple of things came out through the combine. We, you know, we, I was watching a lot of tape from a lot of the guys down there. Sha- uh, Shaquille Griffin's brother is a yeah, guy that really – story yesterday. Man. Right, he really is a chiming right now. Of course, from the quarterback standpoint, being that Drew Brees is up in years, you're looking at the fact that, you know, you have uh, – a. They, they need a replacement, and I mean, you have Mayfield is, is dropping in a lot of the predictions as well after his uh, combine, and you know how high I'm pretty sure Sean Payton is on Baker Mayfield. He is high on him. He was saying that uh, the former Heisman Trophy winner uh, is uh, met with uh, the Saints, and the Saints the had combine, sat down yeah. at the combine and talked to him, and they got a potential need. They definitely have a need for a quarterback to groom behind Drew Brees, whether well, this would be a two or three year contract. But there is definitely now is the time for them to get a quarterback to sit behind Drew Brees uh, in this position. Now, of course, there are phone interviews with some of the tight end prospects. So the Saints showing you they're looking at some of the top tight ends. They met with a few um, uh, DBs. They met with a few uh, other guys as well. So looking at some of these 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 uh, other guys, what would be an intriguing prospect in terms of the Saints uh, possibly looking at with that first round pick? I think it's 27th overall. The Saints I have an opportunity to kind of uh, make a move there, D.C. In your opinion, I know we ain't get to our mock draft show yet, but uh, before we get into any of that, we know they don't have a second-round draft pick. They have a first, a third, a fourth, two fives, two sixths, and a seven uh, this year in uh, the draft. What do the Saints do with that 27th overall pick, in your opinion? Um, there's a lot of possibilities, and I honestly believe um, – it depends on the way the draft goes. Um, like, let's say, for instance, a guy like Raquel Smith, if he falls all the way, which I don't see him doing that, the Saints definitely draft him. Um, a lot of people predicting us to take this um, this tight end, a couple of these tight ends out here. I have never known the Saints to draft a tight end in the first round, so I, and that's not the most pressing need on our team, so... I think even if they have a real good tight end there, I don't think they do that because we can get around the tight end issue. I mean, look what we did last year with relatively very little well, from the tight end position. Right, tight end um, by uh, group, by committee. So I definitely think unless one of these high-profile quarterbacks fall that low, we're going to draft a linebacker. If we don't draft a linebacker, a guy like Arden Key or Trey Edmonds, um, we know Chubb ain't falling that far. Bradley Chubb is not falling that far. But um, a guy like Arden Key or Trey Edmonds, if they fall there, I think that could also be a possibility because you could uh, possibly serve two needs if they don't um, become, I guess, the pass rusher you would like them to be. Those are two guys that you possibly could transition into a linebacker as well. So um, I see him doing something like that. It's definitely going to be a defensive pick. Minus uh, maybe the quarterback situation. Um, you know, I, I, my whole thing about Lamar Jackson. Uh, but Baker Mayfield is also dropping as well. So if Baker Mayfield's there at 27, I, th- I don't care who out there. I think they draft Baker Mayfield. Nobody, well, I mean, I got, I got your sentiment on Lamar Jackson. We had quite fun uh, the last Sports Come episode talking about Lamar and, Jackson. And guess, and guess who they have uh, picking Lamar Jackson in I've one of the it. mock drafts? I've seen it. ESPN, who? one ESPN who? mocks had Lamar Jackson at 27. I disagree with that. And, 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 and I'm not just that. I wasn't even going there. I already threw that out there. If he don't go to the Saints, they have Jacksonville Jaguars taking him. A lot of the mock drafts have that. That's silly. Lamar Jackson is not falling out. That's of the silly, first round. man. That's blank. silly. Why is it silly? That's silly. You, you got, Why would that be silly? They have other needs. And then we're like just, what? Dude, this is what not, need do they this have? This is the sports coma for the Saints, this although guys. we don't want to talk about Jackson. Like, let them get their own damn sports coma. <laughs> I know, but you, uh, you're but not making sense, my man. I, I appreciate we, the, the effort make sense. you put into you just gave $50 million looking at the Saints. Okay, just to show that but we But you know got a guy about. that can sit for two years or so gave, while you just, bring him you up, man. You just gave Blake Bortles $50 million. They only signed him for three years. You have issues at wide receiver. They don't have you that have, many issues. You have at issues. Receiver. Yes, they do. They got they, issues at quarterback. Yes, they do. They have res, they have issues at wide receiver. They, they got Hearn issues. still there. They can bring they back have Robinson. Issues and the other guy, Marquise the Lee, they're gonna line. let walk because they, they have, have cold. other issues. I guarantee you that this team will not take a quarterback. We'll see, Q. You know that's just what I'm saying. Now, well, as far as if as you had your quarterback Baker for the future, Mayfield, I think you would have signed him for Baker, more than three years. I just I just don't see it, man. I just don't know if the you Saints, just don't like Lamar Jackson. No, no, I like Lamar Jackson. I just I'm just not on his promotion. 
Nation team like you are. <laughs> All I'm saying is that Lamar Jackson is a fantastic player. I think he has every bit of the talent bro. of Michael Vick. He has the better accuracy. But, they're, they're, but you know, with guys like that, when they come out, they always try to hit him with the wide receiver label, which is he had to come out and say, listen, if you're not going to take me as a quarterback, then don't take me. And a lot of these teams don't see Lamar Jackson as a first-round uh, quarterback. That's just some of the sentiment on that that I've been seeing around well, they, the league. They were Although the same I think, thing about Deshaun on, listen, Watson last even year, though man. I think, and they still even him though ten. even that's different. That the Shea Watson was is def, was definitely playing player, at a player, high man. level. You could not deny him. I, I, okay, how he was so, playing at a high level and Lamar Jackson won the Heisman over him. Listen, and they face head I'm to saying, head, and he lost because one that, of his receivers dropped it, the ball. It, it speaks a lot to you when when you had a guy where you can beat a team. Like Alabama, you played him twice, twice, and just showed him up the second time you played in the manner that he did it. He that, played. That was, hold on, listen did, to me. He did Lamar, great, man. Now, a, it's a every, this world these effort, things man. vary from player to player. But if you but put they, Lamar Jackson on Clemson, you mean to tell me obviously Lamar Jackson this couldn't one, do the, this one? This won't get settled. He couldn't do the same thing. The, the, the Saints. Clemson don't, was a good team too. These, most of these teams, and I see Lamar Jackson as a first round talent. Not second to round, the they Washington. do not to play. Not to downplay him. I see him as a first round talent. But I think most teams don't. That's what it comes to. I've never down. seen a Heisman so, winning quarterback not, gonna not go in the first round, man. We're not going to sell this. Debate. Point blank period. Danny Waffle didn't go in the first round. He went in the fourth round. Remember that? So that will be an example. That'll shut you down for in a minute. In the recent 2000s. Oh, they going to change it. Anyway, that'll do it for this. <laughs> this will do it for this. This segment. We're about to go into our break. When we come back, we'll talk a little talk college about again, basketball. This, this never and <laughs> also, we'll talk about boxing. Stay tuned. Forget ESPN or Fox. Get straight sports talk from the sports coma with Big Q and the guys.